Hi, I'm Jim Hodge, pastor of the Aldersgate United Methodist Church. Welcome to this edition of Sequestered Spirituality. Several weeks ago, I uh, gave you a sneak peek of a project that I was wanting to work on and which involved a lot of detail work. And uh, I'm happy to say that I have been able to glue all of that together and I've been able to turn it on the lathe. And I was just a couple days ago, just inches away from having turned its entire shape. And uh, so the project is nearly finished. Well, until a couple days ago. And then, well, this happened. You can see bits and pieces of it there on the ground. It flew right off. Not once, but twice. The second time, it broke. So has this ever happened to you? When you've had an idea that you wanted to try, a project that you wanted to try on for the first time, and you've gotten everything lined up and in its proper place, and, and everything st seems to be going well until that one moment where it, it just isn't, and it all falls apart. Well, the mark of a mature faith is to be able, number one, to acknowledge the emotions of that moment and the failure of that moment. To look into what caused all of that to happen. And then, prayerfully, with as much time as you need, to begin to piece things back together. Sure, it may not look the same as when you designed it in the first place. But there is no such thing as an irredeemable relationship or an irredeemable wood project. So, after getting over all the feelings that I had when my project flew off the lathe for the second time and broke into pieces, in fact, in order to do that, I had to step away from it for a good day. And finally now, I've come back to pick it all up and to try to put it together again and make some sense of it. I hope you can see how this applies to your own life and to your faith, to your own dreams and your relationships. There is no such thing as an irredeemable person. Stay safe. Be well.